Hello friends, how are you doing? In the video today, I will be explaining to you how to get or how to apply for a visa for Egypt. And in this video, I will explain everything, the visa policy, how to apply and all the required documents. But before we start, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel. And if you have any inquiry or question, please write it below in the comment section and I will respond to you back in 24 hours speaking about the visa policy for the arab republic of egypt there are visa exemptions for some countries like bahrain hong kong israel but only for uh, the sinai peninsula kuwait lebanon macau oman saudi arabia united arab emirates and uh, malaysia uh, for and there are some special cases for some countries uh, within uh, a specific age range like algeria you have to pay blue below that below that uh, then 14 years uh, for libya providing being a female national or for residents of uh, uh Tenan district and also uh jordan and uh, and uh, lebanon and morocco and all of these countries assuming you are older than 50 or uh, younger than uh, 16 and in some cases uh, 14 uh, there are also some countries that can get a visa on arrival like all european union citizens australia canada georgia uh, japan ukraine uh, russia serbia united uh, kingdom united states uh, and also there is a service to apply for for electronic visa and we will discuss it in details this is provided for many countries including qatar uh, India, Saudi Arabia, Serbia, Venezuela, all those countries can apply for uh, a visa, an electronic visa through uh, that uh, online uh, portal. But the rest of the countries, speaking about South America, uh, African countries, and most of Asian countries, you will have to apply through the embassy. And I will be explaining in details how to apply online and how to apply through the embassy. If you are going to apply online, then visa to egypt.gov.eg is the official site uh, to apply for an online visa. You have first to sign up, then sign into your account, then apply and pay online, uh, then wait for the application processing. Starting by uh, signing up you have to click over here sign up to create an account you have to give your first name your surname is not really required but your email to confirm your email again to give a passport and to rewrite your passport first Remember, in the passport, you'll have to write uh, capital letters, uh, small letters, numbers, and icons. Then I'm not a report to uh, click over the capacha. Verify. And then click sign up. Then, okay, save. Verify your email address to use your account i will have to verify uh my email address they sent me an email let me check okay yes i received already an email i will click here verify email address and now after verifying it i am inside and i have to start my application clicking over apply now okay i have to write my email again I'm not report sign in and here I can create an uh, application and incomplete and unpaid application will be removed uh, uh, seven days after the application creation da uh, date and uh, the funds the cost of the application is 25 USD for single entry and 60 USD for multiple entry, create a new application. 
and now I will have to give uh, three main things okay uh, travel information applicant information host information application I have okay single visa type for tourism there is only option only one option f which is tourism entry type uh, let's say multiple traveling from let's say India expected arrival date and let's say in that 26 of February expected departure date February May 14 and then next next I'll have to give my email first name surname is not really required gender male uh, date of birth okay I'm giving my date of birth let's assume it this is my date of birth uh, country of birth let's say uh, okay India which we'll is India so let's complete with India current nationality India uh, select your original nationality I'll say India do you have any other uh, you will not be allowed to enter the country without a guarantee of an authorization tourist agent in India it must be present as the airport upon arrival so you uh, you uh, will should have a guarantee of an uh, authorized tourist uh, agent in Egypt this is a warning for you okay do you have other uh, nationalities I'll say no okay okay profession engineer article status single passport passport type ordinary passport passport number one two three four five six just any number place of issue India issue date let's say okay 2nd of February expiry date okay 1st of February that date have you visited Egypt before let's say no uh, date from last visit date okay where did you stay during this period have you been deported from Egypt or any other country before no okay contact details the email this email phone number one two three four five six seven eight nine address you have to give okay zero zero okay address a a a s s s s s s s s s s okay supporting documents you will have to upload your passport so you have to attach here you click browse to attach your own uh, passport oh why is it not seeing my passport okay only gpg okay it's a small picture oh this is really weird okay desktop i'll check any other picture okay this one okay so th they are not accepting PDF you have to upload it to upload it in uh, GPG or PNG I click attach okay applicant current nationality passport number one two three four five six okay then next do you want to save the application that okay if yes click yes okay then next current nationality is only available for it to submit a visa application if it's within the group with a guarantee of an approved tourist hmm. current nationality is only available for it 
to submit a visa application if it is within a group with the guarantee of an approved tourist agent so if you're Indian you should be a part of a group or coming with a tour a tourist agent uh, a, a, a tourist agent so okay so let's change it for example let's choose for example Brazil okay I will choose also Brazil here and Brazil I just want to show you how it works but eventually you will have to see if you can apply or not okay I change everything yes let's see what the site will say all right so for the Brazil it's okay but for India you have to be a part of uh, a group name uh, a group a traveling group and it will be better to apply through the embassy so uh, in host information okay self host name the name of the hotel host phone number zero zero one two three four five six seven eight nine okay host email host address who is paying travel accommodations a cost by the applicant himself okay I'm paying everything by myself then I'm clicking save okay edit okay so now this is my application I can download a draft of the application let me show you how it looks like I already downloaded this draft that's how the draft will look like it is loading this is the draft and I can confirm now I want to confirm your travel documents that includes personal for it in case your travel document ID you have to upload both size okay there are some regulations for uploading and I'm clicking yes and after confirming I will have to pay so I'm clicking over pay okay accept payments card electronic payment card issued only from banks outside the Arab Republic of Egypt so you have to pay from any bank outside the Arab Republic of Egypt and Egyptian can't pay for you by a national bank okay and you have to be using one of those browsers uh, okay Chrome Firefox Safari Internet Explorer okay now they will direct me okay this is the page where I'm supposed to start my payment you have to click you have a MasterCard or a Visa let's say I have a Visa okay then you will have to give the details of your a card until you enter your card details and after that because I choose it to be multiple visa then it's 60 USD dollars and after filling the details I will click pay uh, uh, and uh, one time password will be delivered to your phone you have to enter it and then payment will be confirmed and that's how you apply uh, through the online uh, way and let's explain how to apply through the embassy so in case you want to apply through the embassy and this is from the embassy of Egypt in Washington DC the speech and the regulations are in general are the same so you have first to download the application form from the site and the application form is the same you download it from the embassy of Egypt in Washington DC but the same application form can uh, be uh, used to apply in any other embassy in any other uh, country first you have to download the application form from here click here this page will appear in front of you click visa application 2021 and you will just have to open it let me show you 
I already downloaded it. I would like to show it to you. It is a Word file. This is the visa application form. It's very general. It's not directed to a specific embassy. Those are where you have to write your details, your personal information, your passport details, your contact information, your occupation information, details of visa, details of your visit, details of previous uh, visit and your signature and uh, your data and I will also share with you in the next uh, part some documents uh, some uh, supporting documents that you will need always to prepare while you are applying for a visa uh, and will help you to be accepted not only in the Egyptian visa but for any visa. Speaking about the documents you will need to apply for the visa, the first document is your passport. Speaking about the passport, the passport must be original, the issue date must be not older than 10 years with at least 6 months of remaining validity and with at least 2 blank visa pages for the stamps. Number 2, you will need a photocopy of your passport. The passport photocopy is recommended to be colored, must show both data page and the photo page if they are separated. Number 3, you will need personal pictures. For the personal picture, you will need two pictures, not older than 6 months, clear, shows full face, with white background and shows neutral expressions. No head or face covering accepted except for religious reasons. Number four, you will need visa application forms. For the visa application form, it could be an online form, filled online, printed, then signed. It could be also a PDF form, filled on computer, printed, then signed. And also, it could be a hand-filled form, printed, then filled, then signed. Its type depends on the country of the visa and will be explained individually in each video. Number 5. You will need a proof of status. For the proof of status, it varies. If you are an employee or work in a company, you will need a letter from an employer or HR office or your sponsor stating designation, the date of employment, the salary, the period of stay, purpose of visit, and financial arrangements shall also be mentioned. The letter must have an original signature and a stamp. But if you are an owner of your own company or a partner in a company, you will need a copy of the company commercial registry and tax card should also be presented. And if you are a student in a school or college, enrollment letter should be provided. Number six, for foreigners, you will need a legal residence permit. If you are not applying for a visa in the country of your own citizenship, you must provide the original and photocopy of your valid certificates of residence, employment, or student status, or other valid certificates of legal stay, provided by the relevant authorities of the country where the visa center is located. Number seven, you will need a proof of funds. You will also need a proof of sufficient financial means to cover the period of your intended stay. A bank statement for the last six months showing regular income. The original bank statement must show the applicant's name and be stamped and signed by the bank's representative. Please note that cash will not be accepted as a proof of funds. In case you don't have a bank account, a proof of any assets can also be presented. Number eight, you will need a flight reservation. The flight reservation is also an important document. A primary booking of flight ticket reservation must be presented, including the return trip. And in some cases, for some countries, this flight ticket must be confirmed. Number nine, you will need a proof of accommodation. You will also need to provide a proof of accommodation for the whole duration of the intended stay. It should be a confirmed hotel reservation. The confirmation needs to be issued directly by the hotel 
guest house and clearly state the visa applicant's full name, dates of accommodation, the hotel address, and the contact details. In case you don't have a hotel reservation, you will need an invitation by the Office of Citizenship and Migration Affairs or invitation from a host. The host can be company, friends, family, and it should indicate the address of accommodation and those are some sites you can use to book your accommodation place number 10 you will need a health insurance certificate in many cases you will need a travel insurance certificate especially for schengen countries it should be covering the whole period of stay including the information on terms and conditions the insurance should cover all medical expenses including emergency hospital treatment, and repartition of the period of your stay in the Schengen area, covering at least 30,000 euros. The travel insurance certificate shall be signed and stamped by the insurance company representatives or be able to confirm it online. Those are some sites of companies you can use for your travel insurance.